My staff and I decided to take a short break in Oslo upon the invitation of some good friends. Oslo is a municipality located in the southern part of the island of city. It is along the coastal road, which is 110 kilometers from the city, which is a good three-hour drive. We left at 6 in the morning, stopped for breakfast in Karkal, and arrived in Oslo at 10. I was delightfully surprised, as well as shocked, to see a pot with my face at the gate of the beach house where our host, Ben Madamba, greeted us. The Madamba House, our home for the next two days, is a beautiful home by the beach, lovingly decorated with well-curated furniture and art pieces. There is an outdoor kitchen where you can cook your own food, a large open dining area where you can sit, eat, and chat all day. They also have three spacious bedrooms with toilet and bath that can comfortably accommodate 12 people. From the balcony of the second level, where the bedrooms are located, you can view the swimming pool and the beachfront where you can watch the sunrise daily and listen to the sound of the waves 24-7. For today's activity, we're going to have a small wooden fight for dinner, so let's go pick some spices and herbs from their garden. We will start with our chicken roasted in sand. You heat the beach sand first until it becomes very hot. I marinated the chicken overnight inside the refrigerator using my lechon manok recipe which you can find in the link above. You wrap the chicken in banana leaves then in aluminum foil to make sure that no sun gets into the chicken. Then remove half of the half sand, put in the chicken, and cover it with the remaining half sand. Cover the tin can and cook for 2 hours. After 2 hours, we now have this beautiful, tender, juicy, smoke-flavored chicken roasted 
in hot sand. For our good old fried dinner tonight, we will make rice with butterfly pea, which is also called buternate, which we picked from the garden earlier. Cook in the rice cooker like normal rice, fluff the rice, and you will get a nice blue color. The more flowers you add, the darker the blue color. This is how you come up with a very interesting blue color rice. Next, we make butter garlic shrimps. Keep the oil, you saute the spices, add the shrimps and the seasoning. My secret is you add the butter last, put off the heat, and cover until the butter melts. The recipe will be available soon in my YouTube channel. We also have crispy pata. We pre-cooked the pata until tender in our kitchen in the city. We kept them in the freezer and then fried them until crisp and brown. Serve with a dipping sauce made with soy sauce, calamansi, onions, and chilies. For the veggies, we've decided to make dinal dough. Dinal dough is a dish of vegetables cooked in coconut milk. We put together coconut milk and the spices. Once the mixture boils, we add in our vegetables, squash, string beans, gabi, malumbay, and alubati. You then season it with salt, pepper, and a little sugar to balance the flavor. Here is our Budo fight dinner with fruits. I put the rice and the shrimps on a plate, unlike what is normally done in most Budo fight meals because I want it to be more sanitary. It's also easier to store leftovers, less contamination, and more pandemic friendly. So after dinner, my staff enjoy the pool while I am off to Greenland. Tomorrow is another day. Be sure to watch out for part 2 of our Oslo Soldier. For staycation rentals by the beachfront in Oslo, Cebu, message Ted Madame.